And hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You're back with the Midwest Express. So we're always talking about new side hustles that we can find out to make a little extra money. And this one, we're starting out with a little story first. So about two weeks ago, I was delivering for shipped. I had an incentive where I had to do like five deliveries to make an additional $75, I think that week. So it was a slow part of the day and there was one ship shop that popped up and it was, it was kind of, uh, it was a big order, but it only had five different types of items, but they had organic milk, organic creamer, um, eggs, organic eggs. Everything was organic in the order. And it was coming from a local grocery store and going down to the university. And I was like, well, It'll be an easy shop. It'll be a full cart. It's going to be heavy, but I'll do it. And it really only paid like, I want to say $12. And it only went like five miles, but still it was, it was a lot of work to, to haul all that stuff and bag it and do it all, shop it and deliver it. So, but I was like, well, I need to get this incentive. It's a slow time. I'll just do this order. And I went and did the order. And after I picked up the order and started moving toward the delivery spot, I got a notification saying, you know, that this is the GoPuff distribution center. And I'm like, what? <laughs> so I'm working for Shipped. I do a shop and deliver for Shipped from a local grocery store. And it's going to a GoPuff distribution center. And... You think they tipped me? No, guy didn't tip me. I gave perfect service. I went the extra mile. And it just kind of, it, it got my goat. I was really pissed. I was like, I drive for GoPuff. And here they are using a driver from another company to deliver their goods so that they can mark it up and sell it to the customer. And on average, I'd, I don't know anybody that's making more than $15 an hour doing GoPuff. If you are, please put your comments below. Tell me the market you're in and how great GoPuff is. And I, I want to hear about it. But I don't think anybody's going to make a comment below. <laughs> you are thinking about signing up for GoPuff. Do not waste your time. That's my recommendation. And even if you're a GoPuff customer, you live on one of these campuses they are just buying food from the grocery store, marking it up, and then reselling it back to you. And they're not compensating their drivers. They're just hoping that you're going to tip their drivers to make it worthwhile. And that's, that's GoPuff's model is they don't care about drivers. They just want to get their little snacks from their distribution center, and they're making all their money off the markup. If you really want organic milk and eggs and all that kind of stuff and have it delivered to your dorm or your campus or whatever, you shipped. Use DoorDash. Use Instacart. Do not use GoPuff. It's not worth your money. Trust me. So hopefully you guys get some value out of these uh, videos. Make sure you like, subscribe. We'll hit you on the next one.